Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is our little corner of the internet where we talk about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling, and pretty much everything that has to do with self-expression. I'm happy that you could join me today. I'm in the library, where else? And today I'd like to talk about something that I find really interesting, and it's something I have done, and I'm wondering if you've ever thought of it or have done it yourself. And that is, have you ever developed a signature ink? So of course, by signature ink, I'm not necessarily speaking of an ink that you only use for signing your name, because let's all be truthful, we're doing that less and less. Even those of us that prefer to write and write quite a bit, there are far fewer opportunities where we're signing actual printed documentation of any type. Now in my regular job day to day, there are certain legal documents that can only be done in original that need to be recorded. And I usually sign those in blue. It's a pretty boring business blue typically that I use. And that's one of the things that made me think of this because wouldn't it be fun to use something a bit more dramatic? So when I say signature ink, I mean that this ink says that it's yours, that it's particular to your personal brand. So in other words, you would love this ink so much that you use it all the time so that people who know and know you would see that ink and instantly realize that it's your work. So for many years in the business world, and the fact that I do sign as an officer of the company that I work for, I signed my name many times a day, far fewer now using DocuSign and other means, but I certainly remember signing my name a hundred times a day. I used to carry my Mont Blanc 149 with me to work each day, and I only used one ink in that pen for close to a decade. And that was the Mont Blanc Royal Blue, which is a very nice ink, a very serviceable ink. It's certainly an ink that fits into any situation, but it is, how shall I say, slightly boring and uninspired. It is a solid business ink. No one is going to look at it and say, well, that's strange or that's different or peculiar. So the sort of banal quality of Mont Blanc Royal Blue disqualifies it as a true signature ink because there's nothing really to differentiate the color and the shading from anything else in any other pen. So beyond that Mont Blanc Royal Blue, when you're looking for a signature ink, for one thing, you need to love it enough that you can look at that pretty much every day because it's going to be identified with you and your brand. So you certainly would want something to be very distinctive and maybe something that's close to sort of the essence of who you are as a person. You might be into vintage fashion or a historian or an academic, and you spend a lot of time looking at old documents and you really like the look of the faded iron ball ink or old sepia ink, and maybe you might want to claim something like that as part of your personal brand. So if you were to do that, then you're putting your persona and your brand and your ink choice all in alignment. And that could be a pretty powerful and interesting statement because this is all about self-expression. Now I've found an ink recently from Krishna called Moonview that I quite like. It is blue with this amazing red 
sheen that looks metallic and bright and just beautiful in just easy lighting. It's not one of these sheen inks that you need to hold it at a particular angle to see it right. I mean, this, it just dances across the page in fire if you fill it up with your script. It's fantastic. And the fact that the undercolor is a royal blue makes it such that I might use it for some actual legal documents because it would technically be signed in blue and then if you looked at it just right you'd get that burst of red it would be pretty exciting so for me personally that's a great choice now the downside is it's not that easy to find krishna seems to sell out rather quickly i have it in very small 20 milliliter bottles and i think i only have three of them so unless i were to come up with a much more reliable supply of this it probably isn't the best choice for me if i were to make a signature ink another contender for me might be diamine oxblood I just think it's the perfect, interesting red. It would be a nice way to sort of show that you're a person who's very outgoing, that is not afraid to use a pretty bold color, but does it in a rather restrained way. The Oxblood is a more subdued red. It's not like Pinator's sort of teacher grading a paper red it's more of a true sort of bloody visceral red with a bit of black and a little bit of darkness in the shading and that's what makes it so great for writing for journaling and for writing a letter or something it would certainly be an interesting color that if you got a letter from me and it was written in oxblood you might instantly know that it came from hemingway jones Another contender for me would be J. Urban's Carreau de Chypre, my apologies to the French language, which is a great brown color with gold shimmer. Now the shimmer is a bit inconsistent and like all shimmer inks, it tends to settle in one place or another. So you might wanna shake the bottle before filling, but even once it's in your pen, it's all going to settle on whatever part of the pen is facing downwards. Nevertheless, at times you can get pure gold. You can get a mix of gold and brown. Even the basic brown under layer, if you will, is pretty magnificent. So. To me, this ink has a bit of that vintage look and feel to it. It looks like some kind of archival ink from the Venetian Republic back in the 16th century. It looks a bit like the color that Leonardo did his scripts in, which come to think of it, has anyone tried to match that color? That would be a great idea for an ink color. So as much as I like the idea of a signature ink, and I love the fact that if you saw a certain color in my script, you would instantly identify it with me and know that it's mine. I love the idea of it. I love the simplicity of it. I love the simplicity of only owning one pen. I even did that sort of for a while. I only used my Mont Blanc Meisterstück for like four or five years and all my other pens were basically away. That was a uh, pretty simple time for me. Now, I'm all about experience. I have a, an embarrassment of inks right now. So it would be very difficult for me to settle down to just one. And that's putting aside the fact that I am constantly testing and trying out new inks, many of which are sent to me as the TikTok pen guy. So it'd be very tough for me to settle with one color, but I do have these sort of fantasies of being like Uncle Henry in the movie A Good Year, who always used this one color of green. I think it might have been Niger Bons Vert. I'm not sure. It becomes integral to the plot. I won't ruin it for you, even though it's an old movie. But there certainly is a certain romance to that. This one color that unifies your persona with your personal brand and broadcasts to the entire world that this piece of writing came from your hand. That's pretty neat. So what do you think? Have you ever considered only writing in a single color and making it your personal signature ink? 
Has it ever occurred to you? Have you done it? If you've done it, I'd really love to hear from you, especially just to see how it goes if people pick up on it and if it has indeed become part of your personal brand and that face that you show the rest of the world. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I'm glad we got to spend some time together this week. If you could do me a favor, please hit the like button, please comment and share it with someone else who you think might enjoy this content. It seems like we're really starting to gain some momentum and to meet some new and exciting people. So this group is expanding and it's expanding well. There's very good and interesting people coming on board. So thank you very much. Take care of yourself and I'll see you further up the road. Take care. Thank you.